23, which equation of a circle will have a graph that lies entirely in the first quadrant? Okay, so in order for a circle to uh, lie entirely in the first quadrant, its center should certainly be in the first quadrant, and its radius should be small enough that it doesn't extend outward from that center into the other quadrants. So let's, let's make a quick table to uh, examine each of these possible choices. Let's find out for each of them which so we'll do okay so we'll do choice one, choice two, choice three, choice four and we want to find out what is the center and what is the radius? Let's do the radius first. That's pretty easy, right? In the equation for a circle, we have x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals c squared. So the radius is the square root of whatever you see on the right side here, right? Because if this is c squared, let's do the first one. If c squared equals 9, then c must equal 3. So 1 and 2 both have radii of 3. And 3 and 4 have radii of 5, right? Square root of 25 is 5. Now where are their centers? The center on the first one, so it's x minus a. So if this is x minus 4, then a is 4. So the x coordinate of the center is 4. And the y coordinate, y minus b, it's y minus 5. So the center, the y coordinate is 5. How about 2? Well, here it's plus 4. So a must actually be negative 4, and b must be negative 5. 3, same as 2, right? It must be negative 4, negative 5. And 4 is going to be 5, 4. 5, 4. OK, so 2 and 3 we can throw away because their centers are in the third quadrant, right? Negative 4, negative 5. So 2 and 3 are gone. So now we have to choose between 1 and 4. 1 and 4 both have centers that are in the first quadrant, but 1 has a radius of 3. So it will never extend into any other quadrant. So it's the best choice. 4, on the other hand, is located at 5, 4, and its radius is 5. So let's actually draw what happens in that case. We have 5, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And up 4. And again, this is an approximation. But now the radius is 5. So it's going to extend and just touch this point. But as it goes to the bottom, it's going to dip down into the fourth quadrant and it's going to overlap and it's going to be outside of the first quadrant for a time there. So one is the best choice.